let's take a look at default applications. So I'm going to open up settings, swipe over to device, come into applications, and the second tab down is default applications. And this will allow me to take multiple applications of the same type, such as email or internet browsers, and select one app to be the default. I can also set a home screen that provides an easier experience as well. So default applications, up at the top I have browser, calling, messages, then set as default, home screen, and device assistance. So tapping on browser, I can see that my device has two internet browsers installed, internet and Chrome. So right now I have Chrome set as my default browser, so that way whenever I open up a web link, Chrome is going to be the one that handles that, and the internet I can open up and use if I wanted to, but it's not going to open on its own. The same goes for all the other apps. Calling, contacts is going to be the only one that I have for calling, but if I downloaded another application of the same sort, I'd be able to select that. Messages, I have Hangouts and Messages. Hangouts is a Google one, the Messages is the actual one that comes with the S7, made by Samsung, and I can choose which one I want. So you notice that changing my messaging app, do I want Hangouts instead of Messages as my default app? We'll tap yes, and now all of my text messages will be routed through Hangouts. Set as default will give me a list of all the applications on my device, and if there's any other app that I can actually compare it to, I can set as default. So for a calendar, I can actually see if there's supported URLs, and I can get supported web addresses. So if I ever open up a calendar invitation, it's going to ask me if I want to set my calendar as the default calendar. So if I had two calendars installed, I'd be able to see them here. But whenever I do that for the first time, it's going to ask me. And that can happen as well. So if I open up a web link, say for Instagram, and I have the Instagram app installed, it's going to ask me if I want to use Chrome or Instagram to open up that link. Now, sometimes you might want Chrome to do it. Sometimes you might want Instagram to do it. But whatever you select is going to be the default action from there on out.